Community Network is a button, an icon, on an iPad. And what's most humiliating for the broadcasters is that they share that real estate with their distribution partners, with lowly cable channels, and even local stations. So it's very confusing for a TV network to see themselves reduced reduce down to a level where their product is sitting on the same shelf as a local TV station, a cable channel, a distributor like Dish, DirecTV, Comcast, or Time Warner Cable. And not only that, these upstart companies that have been nibbling at the heels, nibbling at the, at, at the, uh, the broadcast company's market share uh, for many, many months, Hulu, Netflix, YouTube, well, they're also on the same shelf. And so in the consumer's eyes, what used to be one of the most prestigious brands or one of the most prestigious kinds of companies in the broadcast world is broadcast networks. Well, that's been reduced down to the same level, a pure level, with YouTube and with Netflix, and that's incredible humiliation. And not only that, they share shelf space with things like Angry Birds. <laughs> so these are bewildering things, but they're all moving into video. Flipboard's about to announce its own video initiative as well. They're adding video in. And so video is starting to show up at all kinds of different places. The broadcast companies are losing control of the distribution outlet. And so that's a real challenge for them. That presents them with business model challenges, but it also presents them with huge marketing challenges. And what they're up against is a beast the like of which they've never seen before. In the past, media companies, TV companies, had kind of a lock on the source of video. They were the only providers of video, so they didn't have to worry about competition. This is a diagram that charts the growth of YouTube content, uploads to YouTube, over the past five years. In 2008, eight hours of video was uploaded every minute to YouTube. Today, 2011, 48 hours of video is uploaded to YouTube. That's two hours of video uploaded every minute of every day. At this rate, by the end of this year, uploads to YouTube will be about one hour per second. Think about that for a second. That's what that's what exponential growth looks like. 